Today we're going to be looking at how to achieve a spotlight effect without actually owning a spotlight. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That subscribe. That is a hard word to say. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the shot that we got on set. You can see here, uh, as I hit play, we have a light right over our actor, but obviously, the shot does not work as is because we're seeing C stand, sandbags, uh, crew member. Uh, we got, I don't know who that is. That might be Zaki, Zaki Kumlada, great sound guy. Um, so we need to get rid of that. We need to fix that and give ourselves a nice spotlight effect. Before we go any further, I do want to address that we use the Airy 650 as our light, which isn't like some cheap light, but this same effect can be used with cheap lights, a $20 paint light. Heck, you could even unscrew light bulbs in the ceiling and just leave one screwed in and just black wrap it, just have a nice spotlight effect. The only rules you need to follow to have this effect work is only one light source. Any other light sources that are uh, obvious it's gonna make the effect not look as legit. Um, and we also use haze, and the haze is gonna help with the edit, but also it adds uh, texture. So let's uh, select our pen tool up here, and we're gonna create a mask on our uh, footage. Let's start at the top of the light right here, and this is where the haze is gonna help because we can now see where the light beam is coming down. Let's go all the way down to the floor right here. Right there looks good and then come right in between his legs, right below, and we're gonna curve it out as if you're getting that circular spotlight hit on the ground. And then click about, about right here be good, and then come back up right to this part. So now that we have our mask, we can see we have this spotlight shape forming, and we need to add feathering to our mask. So just hit F to bring up mask feather, and we're gonna set the feather to 100. So now you got this nice soft feathering around our actor, and no more can we see any of that other crap around. So then we're gonna hit M on our file, on our uh, video, and bring up mask path. We're gonna hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then let's uh, see where it says add right here at our mask. Let's set that to none so we can actually see what we're working with here. And then we're gonna go move on ahead in the shot a little bit and then we're going to adjust our mask and just keep it on uh, the lines in which the haze. See, if you don't have a haze machine, it's gonna be a little trickier. It's gonna take a little more time to get uh, a natural looking light because you're gonna to have to be kind of guessing where exactly the light uh, beams would be at at certain moments. And hey, you can get a haze machine for like 15 bucks. So we're gonna move a little bit forward, a little bit more, and I might just fast forward through this part. Say hi to the camera. Look, hi. look, no, the camera's right there. So once you have the mask looking good, let's go back to the none and set that to add. And then let's look through it. If you hit play, we can see that looking pretty solid. Looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Uh, hopefully y'all are liking it too. So the spotlight effect does look solid, but the last thing we're gonna do is just uh, add some texture to these black areas over here, just so it's not a solid black. And what I'm gonna do to that is bring this atmosphere, atmosphere, uh, footage, which is just a bunch of haze blowing around. Um, and I got this from the Action, Action Essentials pack. Um, if you don't have that pack and you don't wanna pay for it, you can literally just film haze yourself on a black background and then just import it into After Effects and set the blending mode right here, the mode, it's on normal. Set it to add and you're gonna get the exact same thing. Um, so we're gonna set the opacity, hit T. It's gonna bring up the opacity. Uh, option right here and we're gonna set it to 10 and then I'm gonna hit S to bring up scale and we're gonna set the keyframe again we're gonna hit the stopwatch right here and then we're gonna bring it all the way right here basically the keyframe for where um, our mask ends and we're going to scale it up um, to about 5 let's go 530 530 and then right here you see these uh, three balls right here? That's the motion blur. We're gonna set the motion blur on it and make sure your motion blur 
uh, tab right here is enabled, so it's actually showing it on the uh, preview. And then if we hit play, you can see now that you have this texture of haze around him and the haze also within him. So it's nice because you get our fake haze, but then you have the real haze here and it's just blending the effect together. So that's it. That's how we got our spotlight effect within Kung Pao. I hope that helps you with any projects you're working on where you need to fake a spotlight uh, such as this. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all this. We're going to be going through the short film Kung Pao and looking at all the different aspects of that film and uh, breaking it all down. So it's going to be really awesome, really fun, and you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. There you go. <laughs>